Election day is next Tuesday, and perhaps the biggest race locally is in Miami Beach, where voters have four options to replace termed out Mayor Dan Gelber. Early voting is underway through Sunday. CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner spoke to each candidate and shares their top priorities. Election day is quickly approaching, and these four candidates want you to pick them. There's Michael Gongora. I'm a native Miamian. I ran for commission the first time in 2006 and had the pleasure of being elected three times. Former state representative Mike Grieco. A former prosecutor, worked in the gangs and narcotics unit for six years, been living on the beach since the late 90s. Former MTV chairman and veteran Bill Rohde. I grew up here, and... Um, Developed a love for the city. I grew up with a single mom. We had no money. And current city commissioner Stephen Miner. I'm a uh, federal attorney with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. They all told me their top priority is public safety. So I asked how they would each make this world known tourist destination safer. Number one is police visibility, and uh, we have a new police chief working closely with him. That is the number one deterrent. Well, we also have a municipal prosecution team here in Miami Beach, and a couple of years ago in 2021, we weren't prosecuting. The commission passed at my leadership a series of legislation. We're at 90% success rate. I had 11 years running the military in combat, so I feel like I can relate to the police very well. Need to get out of the cars more, need to be on the beat, need to have a real-time crime center up and running more surveillance cameras. I'm the only one here with a law enforcement experience. Um, I was the one that brought the Air and Sea Show, solved our problems for Memorial Day. I was the one who created the Park Ranger program and essentially eliminated all the crime in our parks. I'm the Miami Beach police endorsed candidate. I'm working with them to put more police out on the streets to increase the police budget. Miami Beach residents recently passed a resolution that would allow police to arrest a homeless individual if they deny shelter. These candidates are split. Greco and Rody do not support it. But putting people in jail simply because they're homeless and they can't find their next meal or they can't they don't have a roof over their head, that's that's beyond something that I can I can stand with. I understand why it was important to do but you can't arrest your way out of homelessness. Gangora and Minor do support it. So this new law doesn't require police to arrest homeless people. It's one more tool available to them. I actually am one of the sponsors of that legislation, which, which passed our commission. And really what it is, it's, it's actually humane. Most cases, they have uh, mental, uh, mental health issues, addiction issues. And we're offering them shelter. We're offering them the services. My conversations with each of them were lengthy. We spoke about other important topics like overdevelopment, flooding, short term rentals on Miami Beach. We also got into some fun topics like fun facts. One of the candidates had a pet alligator. Another was a garbage man at one point. Too much to squeeze into one TV segment. So I will have their full responses to those questions on CBSMiami.com. In the studio, Morgan Reiner, CBS. News Miami. Hmm, I'm intrigued. If none of these candidates gets a majority of the vote on Tuesday, the two with the most votes will face each other in a runoff election at the end of the month.